I've had the SW Motec fog lights on the 1290 Super Adventure S here for three years and almost 50,000 kilometers and the experience hasn't been all positive. So if you want to know what I think about it, stay tuned. What's up my biker friends and welcome back to another video today we're going to talk about the SW Motec fog lights now the fog lights were one of the first accessories that I got on the bike I had it installed before I moved the bike a single kilometer today I'm going to talk to you about the ease of installation what the experience has been over the past three years and if I would buy them again and I can recommend them to you now before we get into the installation process let's briefly talk about why I decided for the fog lights in the first place from SW Motec I was deciding between the fog lights from SW Motec and the fog lights that KTM offers. Now the KTM fog lights are quite a bit more expensive and they don't have the same light output than the uh, SW Motex. Also the SW Motex are built a bit smaller so overall I thought that was actually the better design the cheaper price point giving you more light output. Also at the time when I bought these the uh, little mounting bracket that you need to uh, mount them uh, in place where they are right now it wasn't very well designed from KTM it only was mounted with two screws it was a very wobbly design uh, Thomas still has the old design on his 1190 so these lights are just wobbling around and now SW Motec actually found a, a mounting bracket that has a, a three-point uh, screw fixture in there and keeps it very solid on the bike. So there's another reason to go with the SW Motec. Now since then I think the KTM fog lights um, are mounted a bit better. Also they're mounted a bit closer to the inside of the bike which I think is a huge advantage. SW Motecs kind of stick out from the side. That doesn't really matter on road riding so much but for off-road riding that does matter because it's very easy to sort of hit your fog lights and if they're closer in with the bike that's probably a better design. When it comes to the installation it was actually relatively straightforward and most of the stuff uh, that you need for installation comes uh, obviously in the kit. It seems like the cables are long enough actually longer than you need them for on this particular bike but they're long enough to install on several bikes. Now you don't have to take the tank off to install them. I did my installation without taking the tank off. Probably better when you do uh, because it's a lot easier to route some of the cables because some of the cables will go from the front to the back that you have to put in there. But if you take a little lead wire and you can keep the tank on and do it that way that also works. It's a bit fiddly to do this but it's certainly doable to install these fog lights. There's another big advantage that I found after installing these lights because it's just a single switch to turn these lights off and on and if you use uh, factory installed lights there is a setting where those lights will turn off and that's when you turn the high beam on. So when you turn the high beam on the fog lights have to come off. Now with this setup I can actually keep the high beam on and keep the fog lights on. Now if I'm going off-road or somewhere where there's a small road that need all that extra light I can make sure that uh, the fog lights stay on. So that's something that I really appreciate with these lights. Now I said in the beginning my experience overall haven't been all positive and uh, that's true because I've had issues with the lights. Um, this is my second set of SW Motec lights that I have on the bikes. I had to return the first ones because I had some condensation that built up. Now that condensation in itself isn't really a problem as long as the lights still work. It got to a point where it was a lot of water and just wouldn't come out but then one of the lights failed so it just wouldn't turn on again. I don't know if it's because of the water or whatever reason it was but it prematurely failed on me. Luckily I had um, I had the box still there and had to receive so I could bring it back to the to the uh, offline dealer actually. It wasn't an online deal. I brought it back to the dealer and they, uh, they took it back and uh, they gave me a new set of fog lights which was nice but yeah the fog build up was kind of weird uh, and I had read about this uh, before that that can happen. So make sure you keep your receipt and the box that the lights came in. It makes it a lot easier if you have to return them. Other than that, I was very, very happy with the light output. These are really, really bright lights. And I don't have these fog lights for nighttime running, but I have them for daytime running. The main reason I got these fog lights is for better visibility during daytime. Most of my riding, 98% of my riding is in the daytime and these lights are on all the time. I just want to be seen by oncoming traffic and uh, even though we have a great LED headlight on this KTM I found it a huge difference to having sort of auxiliary lights on the motorcycle to be better seen by other 
participants in traffic and it's quite noticeable too that they can see you. So one of the most dangerous scenarios or crash scenarios that we motorcycle riders face is if other traffic is crossing our path and for that it's good if they can see us coming because with the small silhouette especially with the dark bike like this uh, there's a good chance they won't see us. Having good headlights, good accessory lights will make sure that people will see you coming and maybe not cross your path when they shouldn't. So that's the main reason I have these lights are on all the time, just to keep me safe. Of course I do a great job at night too and I've used them a handful of times for nighttime riding, but the primary reason for me to get these is for better visibility. Now would I buy these lights again and can I recommend them? It's not a clear recommendation because of the failure that I had. The good thing is though that the warranty worked out, um, even though it was a bit of a pain in the ass, but eventually I got I got new lights, which was nice. If you're in the market uh, for extra headlights, they're definitely a good deal. I think they're still around 300 euros, which is uh, quite a bit cheaper than I think the power parts, especially for the light outputs so of light output, street legal light output, I have to say. It's something that you're looking for. I would definitely have a look at these lights. I definitely like the way they work. Also, they are relatively small for the amount of lumen that they put out. I have to put that in the description. I, I can't remember off the top of my head how much that is but it's lots of light in a very small casing so they look quite good on the bike. Now things I would change if I was SW Motoring and make a few changes to the design. I would like to see a bracket that moves those lights further into the middle of the bike because they kind of stick out to the side a little bit. Like I said for on-road riding that is not so much an issue for off-road riding. When the bike tips over there's a good chance they will land on those auxiliary lights and, and potentially damage them. So that would really be bad. Also it would be nice to see some kind of a, a protection that you can put over those lights. I know there are some aftermarket products for BMW lights and that's what I actually got off eBay. Is uh, something that is actually was made for the BMW JS. So they don't perfectly fit the SW Motec uh, headlights but there's some kind of protection just in case uh, something hits the, uh, the fog light in front uh, for off-road riding. But other than that um, I'm happy with the lights. Now if you have any experience especially the fogging issue and the water build up with these particular lights I'll be uh, curious to hear about it. I'm just curious to hear about it if you have any experience with the lights in general. Wow what was that? <laughs> Very cool. So guys that was my experience with the lights. If you have any experience with the SW Motec lights, the fogging up issue, any other issue or if you like the lights uh, please leave your comments in the description. I'd be very curious to hear about your experiences on it. Guys if you like the video smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Guys I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Ride safe and stay awesome.